Hey, what's up? It's Tom, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me on my life as a computer science student. For those of you who don't know, I'm studying towards a master's degree in computer science. I'm currently studying as a distance learner. I thought that after I graduated last year, and during the COVID situation and all that, uh, being a distance learner is just the most reasonable option since obviously I anticipated that there's going to be a lot of lockdowns. So our sponsor for this video is Amazon Prime Student. I wouldn't be sponsoring a sponsor if I wouldn't personally recommend it to you. I've been using Amazon Prime Student ever since I became a student. Highly recommend it. I started with the first 6 months of trial. Unfortunately it's only valid to new customers I believe. But nevertheless, you still get a half price once the trial finishes. So I pay around £730 a year. Um, you also have the option of paying £3.99 a month. And you can cancel that at any time. It gives you access to free unlimited Prime delivery. You got Prime video, so you can watch things like the Grand Tour. Amazing TV program, highly recommend it. You got your Amazon Music, you got books, magazines and more. Uh, Prime Gaming and um, all sorts of other exclusive perks. I recommend it, check out the link in the description of this video to find out more. And of course, if you do decide to sign up using my link, you'll be sponsoring this channel. As a distance learner, I don't actually have any lectures to attend to. In fact, all of my lectures are pre-recorded, which is extremely good, because it means I can concentrate on what's important. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee and I'm gonna get to it. Yeah, so to plan my week, I use something called Kanban Flow. Now, Kanban Flow is an epic free online tool, uh, a little bit like Trello, which allows you to well, do anything you want, from project management to all sorts of things, I guess. I use it to plan my week though, and I use a technique by John Sonmez. I'll link the video up here and in the description of this uh, video for you to check out later on but what I tend to do is I have my today um, section I've got Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and next week uh, later catch up and a complete section and what I tend to do to summarize is anything I want to do today so I'm going to be doing this I'm yeah, going to be doing that doing that I can close that now and the thing I absolutely love about this is that it enables me to use a Pomodoro timer so start Pomodoro and what that does is obviously it starts a 25 minute timer I've been using the Pomodoro technique for a very very long time now and I highly recommend it um, if you're working from home especially and what it is is basically you work for 25 minutes with absolutely no distraction and then you get a 5 minute break where I recommend you go for a walk and then you go for another 25 minute um, work sprint uh, it's highly effective, I've been using it for ages highly recommend it so yeah, anyway I'm doing enterprise cloud computing today so I'm gonna log in I'm doing a course through the Amazon Academy for this module just very decent and all of these lectures are now on demand as well and to be fair the Amazon lectures these ones is pretty cool I think so I'm on module 4 now I'm gonna watch the video and see you later I guess Yes, yeah, so I finished the lectures or the modules that I was hoping to complete within the uh, well, sprint time. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is that all of my tasks I have on Kanban Flow are organized into timings. So they're, they're all color coded into how much Pomodoros I'm planning to spend on it and that type of stuff. But the video by John Somers explains that extremely well and I highly recommend checking that out. Yeah, so I was hoping to go for a walk to get some fresh air before I start my next unit. Obviously that's out of the question, so I guess I'm just going to continue working on my assignment. 
So yeah, when I'm doing coursework, I tend to use these glasses. Now, these glasses, they're not actual glasses, um, my proper glasses in certain respects. They are blue light glasses, I highly recommend them, uh, simply because when you're working for ages, hours after hours on your computer, obviously your eyes will get tired and they will start to strain. These are extremely good for that type of thing. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll be using this. Um, now the headphones I've been using over the last couple of weeks are these ISKs, they're the ISK Studio HD9999, a very good uh, set of headphones. I've actually been trying to get these headphones for months, they're very difficult to find in the UK, I actually ended up importing these from abroad. Sound quality wise they are very reasonable, they're perfect for studying. I just basically wanted a set of headphones where I could listen to music, that type of stuff, whilst I'm studying. And I've had various headphones in the past which I still use depending on well, the circumstances. Unfortunately, I'm currently blessed with building work literally behind of my house. So these, I don't, when it gets loud and it does get loud, I don't tend to use these. I use my noise counseling headphones. Now, the noise counseling headphones that I use are these Sony's WH-H900N uh, Very, very nice wireless headphones And they're actually pretty comfortable as well However, the reason I don't use these by my computer is actually pretty simple um, They're not as comfortable as, say, these and um, I mainly tend to use these when I work when I'm out and about. Uh, I haven't actually charged these for quite a while uh, now, but they're very good. Uh, sound quality wise, amazing sound quality, good bass. So, to be fair, I could argue that these sound quality wise are much better than the ISKs, but the ISKs offer more comfort over long periods of time and the sound quality is very, very reasonable, and I don't have to worry about it being charged. Uh, but anyway, put this to the side. I guess I'm going to put these on. I'm now going to go back to my report. Now, I don't really tend to use Spotify anymore. I've moved to YouTube Music, I just prefer it a lot better. And for when I'm studying, I use a playlist by Thomas Frank. I'll link it all in the description of this video. I highly recommend the playlist. Uh, but it is available on Spotify as well. The playlist that I use is called Ultimate Study Music uh, by Thomas Frank. I'll link that in the description of this video. And yeah, let's get to work. I'm going to put my music on. Down a little bit. And by the way, if you like anything I feature in this video, all of it will be linked down in the description of this video. Right, let's open my report. Okay, so I've spent the rest of the day practically working on this assignment. It took ages to write. Uh, one of the biggest issues was the word count. It's a 1,500 uh, word limit, um, which, to be fair, it's pretty small compared to reports I've been writing over the last couple of uh, months, both at level 6 at my previous uni, that's on the undergrad, and level 7, which is my master's. But I managed to do it. I've got a total of 100. Well, I've got a total of 1,876 words, and that obviously includes all the titles and the references, in the bibliography, which doesn't count in the word count. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, what I like to do is I always like to copy and paste the actual body of the text, so all of this documentation here into a separate word document to have a look at what the word count is and it was 
something like 1490 something I think it was 96 if I'm not mistaken which is absolutely perfect I'm happy with that so yeah now it's time to submit now my university uses something called blackboard which is like a Moodle type um, system I guess so I'm gonna go to courses business analytics assessment so this particular assessment is in two stages so I've got the report and I've got the code so they want the report as a PDF file so I'm gonna save as I'm gonna go to browse yep leave it in there I'm gonna select PDF I'm gonna give it a reasonable name so Perfect. Might as well. So I'm going to select View Complete. I'm going to submit. Choose from this computer. I've got this file saved in my Google Drive. A name. Yep, confirm. Beautiful. So I'm going to go back to assessment. I'm going to submit the code. And that's submitted as well.